821. Right now. Rosenberg looks upset. Kick that realness, G. Last night, or yesterday, I should say, a video came out of President Obama on Between Two Ferns, which is a comedic show that runs on funnierdie.com, hosted by the great Zach Galifianakis, and it's a pretend interview. Actually, if you want to hear a clip of it, we have it. We have uh, President Obama yesterday when he was on with Zach Galifianakis, funnierdie.com. What is it like to be the last black president? Seriously? What's it like for this to be the last time you ever talk to a president? It, it must kind of stink, though, that you can't run, you know, three times. Actually, I think it's a good idea. You know, if I ran a third time, it'd be sort of like doing a third hangover movie. Didn't really work out very well, did it? <laughs> That's good. Now, listen. Last night when I was half asleep and I heard my wife watching this, I was definitely like, Obama went on Between Two Ferns? Why? I don't. Why would he have time to do that? Then I woke up and checked it out and saw, oh... He's promoting people getting health care and using healthcare.gov. That's the message they've been pushing. It's why we had Valerie Jarrett from yep. the White House here on this show and other people. And uh, Cory Booker called the show. And I believe Obama does know that most young people, college kids, 18 to 24, get their news from things like The Daily Show, not CNN. So to get to young people, you got to go do funny things sometimes because that's what they're interested in. Funny or Die gets tons of hits. It's a perfect place to go. It makes perfect sense the president would go there to spread his message to the people who need to get health care. However, Bill O'Reilly, the great Bill O'Reilly. from Oh, I'm sure he, yeah. I'm sure he was happy Papa about Bear O'Reilly had some interesting thoughts on the president's decision to do that. The economy continues to be problematic, and Putin is clearly testing the president. And if Carney wanted to go on Funny or Die, fine. But the President of the United States? All I can tell you is Abe Lincoln would not have done it. <laughs> really, Bill? Really? Abe Lincoln wouldn't have done it? <laughs> first of all, first of all, there was no such thing as the Internet. Second of all, I don't even think Abe Lincoln had electricity. <laughs> Third of all, FunnyOrDie.com had not been invented. Zach Galifianakis had never been born, and neither had President Obama. The whole thing makes no sense. You're an idiot. But keep in mind, this is Bill O'Reilly. This is a man who is more in touch than you may believe. Remember when he went to Sylvia's in Harlem? No, no. I mean, I like that soul food. I had the meatloaf special. <laughs> I had uh, coconut shrimp. I had oh, the I iced that. tea. It was great. This is a man who went to Harlem once. Remember how he ordered when he went to Harlem? mf -er, I want more iced tea. <laughs> this is the man who's critiquing the president spreading his message on a platform that really reaches the people. Bill O'Reilly, you are an idiot. <laughs>